Hey, hey guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to Chronicles of a Crafter. So today I am going to um, demonstrate some of my die cuts. I got some new die cuts in the mail the other day. I ordered them from AliExpress and Amazon, etc. I mean, wouldn't you like to know how to make something this cute? You loop this together and it's like a little a little matchbox, a little slide box. And you can put all kinds of stuff in here. Like I have a stash of these tags um, that can fit into this little box right here. And um, yeah, this is just my little prototypes. I cut these with my new um, Gemini Mini. Okay, this is from Crafter's Companion. I got it on Amazon and it came with two of these cutting plates. Okay, I've been using this a lot lately. The best thing about this die cut um, cutting machine is the fact that these plates are attached. Okay, so yeah, it's just a, a flip over and you run it through. You don't even have to hold it in place because they're connected here at the top and it's reversible so you can cut on either side of the plate I love it I mean I've had nothing but good things to say about this little guy right here it has suction cups at the bottom I'm not sponsored by this product at all I'm just letting you know that this is well worth it it's about 40 45 bucks and it's better than any of my other um, mini die cutting machines as you know I have like a little blue one it's a little cumbersome it's a little bulky this is very slim sits right on my desk and suctions to the desk so it's not going anywhere and the process to run it through I mean I made this like within a minute glued it together and everything like the, the not only was the die cut very self-explanatory sometimes when you get these you really don't know what you're gonna get when you print it out or when you cut it out um, you don't know what it's gonna be like I couldn't tell you what this is without <laughs> without actually cutting it through and I couldn't remember what I bought either so you know this is what it is it cuts out this little guy right here now the other day I made um, some file folders with a belly band closure which really came from this concept right here okay so that was that and uh, this is a cutesy little box that you can give us happy mail or um, store your ephemera in it and the other die cut that I wanted to play with today looks a little bit like this it took me a little while to get it going so don't mind my mistakes down here at the bottom <laughs> Um, I couldn't understand how does it glue together. This is a cute little pocket that you glue down into your, your journal um, on a journal page or you can even give it as happy mail. Well, once you glue it down, here I'll just show you, it's like a little pull tab. So you just, uh, if this if this will work, you pull on the tab and the little tag comes out. Alright, so yeah I'm not sure if I even have it glued together properly yet but we will find out together. Hopefully this is the way it goes. Like it's just a little pull tab. It gives you a little indication that there is something there for you to pull on. And once you tug on it, it should pop open like so. Alright. So yeah, let's just play with some die cuts and see what we get. I have a couple others that I wanted to share with you guys. Let me see if I can uh, pull it out right now. I'm just flipping through some things on my desk. Oh, that fell in the trash. I'm going to have to get that out. Here's my ticket die cut. All right, I've always wanted ticket die cuts. The other day I made a video of some faux tickets. They were oversized tickets. Good for making belly bands with um, and even breaking into actual tickets. But I'll put the link for that video right up here. The faux tickets that I made um, that video. But this right here will come in super handy when I'm making individual tickets or if I want to make a smaller belly band to fit into either a junk journal on a page or with Happy Mail. And in my trash, this fell into it. It's another little pocketed slot um, thingamajiggy. It's a pocket that has these various slots on it, kind of like the one that's in my junk journal folder here I'll show you so this is my um, my farmhouse junk journal and these are the, the slats right here here let me grab a let me grab a tag 
okay here's some cute little tags um yeah so this right here has one little tuck up here one little tuck down here okay so that's what this um pocketed slat look like but this one seems to be more of a fuller pocket still has enough room for a tag in each individual pocket so there's one two three four plus the big one back here so I'm dying to cut this out and see what this actually looks like on paper so let's try that all right anyway guys let me grab some really pretty paper and we will get started okay so these are the two uh, pattern papers that I've decided to play with today it came from a 12 by 12 paper pack it's sort of a marbly green and this floral green paper and um, pattern so yeah I just cut it up into various strips I know that my new Gemini mini is only a three inch wide slot so I went ahead and cut a few pages down to three inches so that can slide through there and then I went ahead and brought in my big old Sizzix Big Shot um, that has a five inch wide um, opening for the um, die cuts to go through and that I needed because of this one this is a four inch die cut you know it won't go through the Gemini Mini so let's just play with some stuff and see where we end up this is also my ticket uh, die cut and um, this one can go through here or I can break them down into two or three and they can fit through the Gemini Mini so I'm just gonna break off one of these right here and just break off the little tab that's holding the last uh, die cut in place and I am going to place this on this three inch strip of paper yeah I think that'll work all right so let's just do that and I'm gonna line this up inside the little casing for the Gemini think that'll work so I hope you guys are having a great day and doing fun crafty things and um, yeah <laughs> you know doing stuff that you like to do all right so let me slide over my big shot and just run this one through here these are the tickets And I love that the Gemini, that you don't have to hold it down in place. You don't have to hold the plates in place. You know, it's just cranking on its own, really. It's suctioned down to the table so or to my cutting mat. So I like that a lot. All right, let's see what we've got. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's not too shabby. Yep, I like this a lot. Came out wonderful. Yeah, this die cut cuts really well. So, yeah, I'm gonna love playing with this. All right, hang on just one second. Okay, I had to change my battery on my camera because it was just about dead. So, anyway, um, right, so I got these beautiful little tickets to come out of that die cut. Looks great. I like it and I will decorate these and use them in a journal okay let's try this one with this guy so here is a little tag and the tag pull because it goes down inside of the pocket you don't need a pretty page for it so let me just show you what I mean this is the this is the tag pull if I can get this on here yep so you don't need a pretty paper because it's gonna go down inside of a pocket and you'll never see it so um, yeah so let's just cut this up I'm just gonna cut that 
this section for the tag. Okay. And I'm just going to use a plain piece of paper for the tag pull. And now we're going to run it through. We're going to run this through the mini. Okay. Now the paper that I use for the tag pull is a little bit thicker cardstock. So I got to run it through a couple of times because I've noticed it did give me a problem to cut that this little pull tab so we'll see if it works this time by running it through twice nope it still did not work so this section right here holds on pretty well and it has been doing that ever since I've been trying so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this away okay so now we have this, which is our little pull for the tag, and here is our little tag, okay? So to assemble this, I had to do it multiple times to get it right, because there are no instructions with this die cut. It just came in a box and in a bag, and it's like, here, you figure it out. So here, here's the actual prototype that I tried several times to get it done and this is how we're gonna fold this here and fold that there on these score marks that comes with the die and the tag gets glued onto this front section right here now I don't know if you can glue it on the back and let's see yeah, I think you can. It glues onto the back of the tag, so I guess it will go like that. This tucks down like so. Yeah, so now I have it identical to the way my prototype looks, okay? So I'm just going to use a little bit of art glitter glue just on this tab section. Oops. Okay, and I'm going to glue my front side of my tag onto here. And use my little wipes to clean off the excess. Okay, so that is our pulling part, the pulling part of the tab. And now we need to cut a pocket. So let's do that here's the pocket and I'm gonna find some coordinating paper for the pocket so I'm just gonna use this green marbly type of paper right here for the pocket die Easy peasy. So let's see. So now this part hmm. Interesting. So let's see now. This is my pocket. Oh, on the inside. Okay, yeah. So my tag is now glued down on the wrong side. Okay, so sorry art glitter, but you're coming undone. Pop a little bit more glue here. Flip my tag over. 
I guess I didn't identify which would be the colored side of the paper and not. So that would help. Your decorated side of the paper needs to be glued its back onto that little flap. And then this glues down on here because this is what you want to see. Can you see that? This is what you want to see when you pull on the tab. It'll come up to about there. Okay? And it goes back down. Alright, so let's glue this section down. Okay. And I'm just gluing it so that this tag is flush with the top of its future pocket. Trying not to get glue onto the tag itself. So, yeah. There. Alright. So this would then lay flat on a page, like so. And then you can pull this and it will pop out to about there. Okay, and you can write different things on there. You can also glue it upside down and pull it down. Alright, but yeah, I thought that would look really cute in a journal. So, yeah. Alright, anyway, moving on to our next, our next little fun thing to play with. Uh, let's try this, this big slotted pocket right here. And I'm going to cut this one with this pretty paper because there is a lot of surface space. My other slotted ones has a lot more slots and just one little section down here where you would see your pretty paper underneath. But this has a lot more surface area so I think that um, I will die cut it with a prettier paper and get a lot of that image on there. So I'm going to use my Sizzix Big Shot for this one. And we're going to crank it through. And I'm sorry for the noise in advance, but you know the Sizzix. It's just a noisy um, thing. It makes a lot of popping and cracking and so it's supposed to. So, Alright, I'm just going to run it back the other way. Sorry if the camera's shaking, but this is what we have to deal with. One day, I will get one of those electronic cutters, but for now, this is what we got, and I love it. This came out so pretty. The stitching's on the right side, the cuts, the slits are all perfectly where they need to be. Let me get some tags and I'll show you how cute this will look in any junk journal. So let's just say we laid it down on a page like this, gluing only where your stitch marks are on the sides. You can even glue the top if you don't want to tuck anything up here, and I think it's probably best that you don't. But I would only put glue only on the stitch marks, gluing the entire thing flat, and then just using these slats right here. Isn't that cute? Yeah. So let me grab some more tags. So there will be a tag here. And you can put a tag or two or a card down here. So yeah, that's the way this would look on a page and empty it looks like this isn't that awesome all right so there's that all right let me see what else i have to play with so this came out really nice i like i like this uh die cut it cuts well as well and for the last thing i wanted to show you guys this box on some pretty paper so let's cut this box out on 
this. And I'm going to use the Gemini for this one, the Gemini Mini. So my box will be this nice solid color. It comes out flat like this. Okay. And my um, box top will be this color here. I'm just going to run it through on the Sizzix because it's here and the paper is too wide. So instead of taking the paper to the guillotine, cutting the paper, bringing it back, I'm just going to cut it with this. This is by no means a test between the two um, die cutting machines. They are obviously two different machines altogether, but they both do the same exact thing. So, and now we have that. Okay, so there are little score marks on here. They're about a quarter inch, a little bit more than a quarter inch, maybe. Let's see. They are, yeah about a quarter inch in size and they fold like so okay remember the little closure that I made the other day with that uh, file folders all right and this is the box and I'm gonna fold it so that the pretty box is on the outside and the white paper is on the inside I think I think that'll be fine so yeah you just fold on all the little score marks that they give you and easy peasy fold up the box and pop some glue in all of the corners so there's that one I'm just gonna hold it for a second our glitter tends to grab really quickly and I'm gonna put a little bit on this side and then hold that. The most important thing with this uh, die cut is getting the glue onto the tabs and the tabs onto the, um, the sides of the box straight, okay? You wanna get it as straight as possible, otherwise you'll have a wonky, a wonky box. Nobody wants that. So. Okay. So there's that. And. That would go like so. Or. Like so. Okay. Yeah. I like that better. Let's um, get some string to tie this up. Give me one moment, two ticks, I'll be right back. Okay, so I just have this mm, Jewelry Essentials uh, string here. It's some uh, jute that's been waxed. So it's wax cotton cord for jewelry making perhaps, but I use it for my junk journaling. And um, yeah, I just pulled a little piece of this natural beigey color I thought would look cute with this box. I'm lacing it through without ripping the paper. I'll slide the box back in there and tie it off into a bow. I think this is a cute little little project. I hope you guys have some die cuts and um, you felt you felt the need to die cut today so that's what you did because that's what I did and um, yeah <laughs> slippery little sucker um, all right so yeah I just <laughs> tied a little bow on there I think that'll look cute and some happy mail maybe or um, maybe even glued down into a junk journal it'll be a little thick but it can happen 
And um, in addition to that, I also have my little tickets here that I will decorate and use either as a belly band or even a pocket, like a tiny tuck, or fold it up and use as tickets. Okay, so there's a little perforated line across the middle and you can even use these as actual tickets in your journal. And my favorite so far was, um, where is it? Where did you go? Oh, here it is. This, this is my favorite die cut of the day. It's the slatted pocket. I like it. I, uh, if you have one, try cutting it with some pretty paper. It really is. It's really cute. I like that a lot. And the other guy that can also be a close contender for a favorite. Here, I'll just show you. You can pull it, glue this down on any sheet in your journal and tug on it. And it has a little tag in there. Write a little sentiment, stick a little sentiment in there. It'll be really cute. And you can pull it upwards, okay? Or you can glue it down. Um, with the tag facing down and then pull on it down. All right. All right, guys. I hope you guys have a crafty day. Stay naturally curious, guys. And I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.